G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller once again for Weaver Leather and we are presenting reconnecting with your horse during coronavirus. And so, so far I've given you four different exercises to do and I thought now I'd talk about some of the problems that people have encountered with those exercises, both when I've suggested them here on this series and suggested them before. And probably the biggest problem is you. The biggest problem I see is people having expectations. And so the first exercise where I suggest you go out in the pasture and sit out there, read a book, drink a cup of tea, drink a cup of coffee, do your meditation, whatever it is you are gonna do out there. And I have had a number of people say something like this. So I went out there and I sat out there for two hours and he wouldn't come over to me. Oh no, I think, I think what they said was, I went out there with no expectation and I sat there for two hours and he wouldn't come over to me and I go, that's expectation. This is about reconnecting with your horse. This is not about getting your horse to do anything. So you're really trying to tell your horse how little expectation you have. That's, that's a big part of the whole thing because if you think about it, for the most part, from the time they're born, whenever we go near them, we wanna do something with them. Okay, we don't, just, we don't just hang out with them very much. And so it's probably the biggest thing is, is uh, expectation. So I've had, I've had people say that about that first one where you just go out and sit there that nothing happened. I have had uh, people talk about the matching steps. I matched steps with him for two hours and, and nothing happened. Yes, it did. You matched steps with your horse is what you did. You told your horse for that, for that amount of time that you weren't asking anything and you were connected with them. And that's, that's all you're really, really trying to do. And it will add up over time. And then the third exercise I had you guys do was about the one with the flag where you can, you know, wave that flag a little bit and get their curiosity, get them to flick an ear towards you, turn their head towards you, any of those things without asking, you're just being curious. And I've had some people say that they couldn't get that horse to even flick an ear towards them. And they said, no matter what I did, I, I couldn't get them to flick an ear towards them. And so I have, said, I have commented and said, well, what did they do when you walked up and rubbed the, the flag up the inside of their back leg? And for the most part, people say, well, I, haven't, I didn't do that. And I'll say, well, you said you did everything. Um, but it's not an ask. So I've, I've actually had to do that. I think the horse that I showed you in the, the first video, the one that went around me at Liberty at the clink, the Palomino horse, at one point in time there, I couldn't get him to flick an ear towards me in that arena. And I ended up having to walk all the way up to him. And I took that flag and I just rubbed it up the inside of his back leg. And he went, oh, what's that? And I turned and walked away. And then after a while, when I started moving the flag, he could flick in the ear. And then like you saw with three days later, he could do Liberty circles around me. And so it's about being effective without it being an ask. So I didn't walk up to him and ask him to move his hind end over. I just took that flag and ran it up the inside of his hind leg. And, you know, don't get yourself kicked, whatever you do. So, uh, you know, the, the point I'm trying to make here is try to be effective but so one of the people that I suggested that to she said I walked up there and my horse just pinned his ears and and stomped his hind foot at me and so my suggestion to her was you are probably not ready to start trying to attract your horse's attention it sounds like your horse you know she said oh, there's nothing I can do to get that horse to f even flick an ear towards me and so I suggested to her is you're probably not far enough along I would go back and Go back to sitting out there with you in the in the pasture with your horse. Go back to matching steps. Go back to your horse. Horse obviously is still thinking that you're there to ask for something. You know, something else you can do um, instead of the first exercise is go out there and be kind of a sentinel. So instead of sitting and doing nothing, go out in your horse's pasture and just walk around the pasture. And if it was say it was here. Okay, we've got some beautiful scenery here. If it was here, I'd walk around the pasture. I'd look at those trees. I'd look at the top of those hills. I'd look at the clouds. I'd look at these trees. I'd listen to the birds. I'd be aware of the wind on my face. I'd be aware of this horse, but I don't know if your horse Petey heard Petey back behind you right then going Pfft. I'd just be present and be aware of all that and just wander around there for half an hour and then leave. And you'll find that if you do things like that, after a while your horse will start to be interested in you but if, if you if they're not interested you in the slightest bit with that exercise of the flag then i'd probably suggest 
your horse is not ready to connect yet they still think you know they're still basically sick of all the stuff we've done with them in the past and and you know it's tough i know i've i've, I've been there you know being a professional horse trainer for many years I'm, i want those horses to do things and i was that way with mine for quite a while and it's been quite a bit of unraveling to get them to where they they will connect with you and not just stand there and go okay i'll just stand here to tell me what to what to do next so it, believe me it, it takes a while so you know, William Shakespeare said that expectation is the mother of all frustration. So if you can go out there and not, not expect them to do something, the only expectation you can have is of yourself. And you, the expectation you have of you is I'm going to go out here and I'm going to do this and this and this and this and this. Take them out of the uh, out of the equation and just go out there and do your part of the exercise. And what you will find is if you can do that and not have expectations that pretty soon your horse will start to come around. So um, hopefully that gives you some ideas about how you can um, help with some of the problems you may have been running into. And uh, I'd suggest you just go out there and give that a try.